Hello everyone, welcome back to Eribe Global Solution. Today we'll be, we'll be talking about current account balance of payment. What do we understand by current account and what do we understand by balance of payment? In our first slide here, we have the, the definition of balance of payment and the three main accounts we have under balance of payment. A balance of payment is a, is a record of all monetary transactions between residents of the country and the rest of the world over a given period of time. Why the three main accounts we have is known as current account, capital account, capital account, and financial account. Now we move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have current account here and the four component of current account. Our current account is the account that shows the income received by the country through their, through their exports and the expenditure made in dealing with other countries through imports. It is usually divided into four components, which are trade with goods, that is feasible trade, trade in services, that is invisible trade. Well, and we also have primary income and secondary income. Here we have one past question here. What is included as part of the current account of the balance of payment that's already mentioned here? Now let us check out our options. Money withdrawn from a bank account or government income and expenditure, investment in other countries by manufacturers or trades in goods and services. Of course, the answer is trades in goods and services. Now we move to our next slide. Moving to our next slide, we now have the explanation of each component of current account. Here we have the first one to be the value of exported goods and imported goods, also known as feasible trade. As I mentioned earlier, this value of exported goods and imported goods is known as trade in goods. And we have the value of exported services and imported services, also known as invisible trade, is known as trade in services. Here we have the income held by people working in different countries and investment income which come into and go out of the country that is represented as primary income. While we have our secondary income that is current transfer to be the transfer of money, goods or services between residents and non-residents not in return for anything else. Now that is that those are the component of current accounts. Now we move to our next slide. We now have the calculation of surplus and debt and deficit of the current account. Now how do we arrive at our current account surplus? Of course our current account Account surplus is when the financial inflows in the current account exceed the financial outflow. While the current account deficit is when the outflow in the current account exceeds the financial inflow. When we are talking about financial inflow, we it include financial aid, donations, grants, pension, payment received from overseas residents. Why are why are flow are the financial aid donations pensions made to overseas residents? Now we move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have one part question here related to export and import, which give us surplus or deficit on our current account balance of payment. We have the diagram that shows China's trade with. Brazil for two years. What happened to China's trade balance with Brazil between year one and year two? Here we have our China's exports and we have our China's import. If you look at this time, the China's exports in year one and imports in year one at the same time, their exports is more than their import that means they are in surplus but in year two we have their exports is lesser than their import now let us check this option it's move from surplus to deficit 
it experiences a rising de deficit, it experiences a falling surplus, or it moves from deficit to surplus. Of course, they move from surplus to deficit. Now we move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have the causes of current account surplus. What caused our exports to be more than what? To be more than our imports. Now here we have the growth in foreign country. Of course, export demand may be rising due to trading partner with that experiencing growth and higher income. We also have high foreign direct investment. Of course, strong export growth can be the result of a high level of foreign direct investment. Also, we have currency depreciation. Of course, the trade surplus may result from the currency depreciation. We also have closed economy. Of course, some countries have a low share of national income taken up by imports. And we also have high domestic saving rate. We also have high domestic saving rate which leads to domestic saving and low domestic consumption of goods and services that will cost more products to be exported and imports to fall. Now we move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have the consequences of what? Of current account surplus. What are the consequences of current account surplus here? Here we have the Better standard of living, of course, higher net income, transfers, and export revenue can make the country citizen to be better off. Now we also have currency appreciation. Of course, as exports increase, the demand for the currency also increases, and therefore the value of currency will also increase. We have the employment opportunity. Of course, since export have increased, job in the export industry will also increase. Also, here we have the deflation. Of course, it cannot cause deflation, it leads to inflation. Of course, higher demand for export can lead to demand for inflation. So, deflation is not part of the consequences for current account surplus. Now we have economic good. Of course, net exports and components of gross medical products can be the rise in export and income will cause economic good. Now let us check. Here we are going to go we'll move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have the causes of current account deficit. Why do our imports also greater than our exports? Here we have higher exchange rates. We have higher exchange rates here. Economic growth. We have a question where if the currency is overvalued, import will be cheaper and therefore there will be a higher quality quantity of import. Also, we have an economic growth. Of course, if there is an increase in aggregate demand and national income increase, people will have more income to consume a lot of things. We also have recession in other countries. Of course, if the country's main trading partner experience negative economic growth, then they will be buy less of the country exports. Of course, it leads to borrowing money. Due to borrowing money, we can ask, we can ask current accounts deficits if countries are borrowing money from other countries to finance their expenditure. We also have decline in competitiveness. We have, of course, if exports industry are in decline and cannot compete with foreign exchange, then exports will fall. Now here we have one past question here related to this deficit. A government is faced with an unwanted deficit on the current account of its balance of payment. Which action is most likely to reduce the deficit? Here we have the revaluing its, its, its currency, restricting imports by raising tariffs, reducing income tax, or raising government spending on welfare benefits. Of course, it is restricting imports by raising tariffs. Now we move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we also have one past question here. A country has a surplus on the current account of this balance of payment. What will be the most likely to cause the country to move into deficit? Improve technology in other countries, government subsidies, so government subsidies to its exporter, Productivity increase 
and its exports industry or devaluation of its fixed exchange rate. Of course, improved technology in other countries is mostly likely to cause the country to move into the deficit. Now we we'll move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have the consequences of current account deficit. What are the effects of current account deficit? Here we have high growth. Does our current account deficit lead to high growth? Of course, no. Unemployment, what of unemployment? Of course, de deficit can lead to a loss of job in domestic industry. Now we have increased borrowing. Of course, countries need to borrow money in order to rectify their current account deficit. Does it does it reduce borrowing? Of course, no. We have low low growth. Of course, a deficit leads to lower aggregate demand, then slower growth. We have lower exchange rate. Of course, a fall in demand for export or a rise in demand for import reduce the exchange rate now let us check we move to the next slide moving to the next slide we now have the policies to achieve balance of payment stability now we are using an expansionary fiscal and monetary policy to correct current account surplus that is by reducing what by reducing our interest rate and the personal income tax also we are using contractionary and monetary policy to correct current account deficit that is by increasing our interest rate and increasing what it's increasing the money supply now here we have the putting protectionist measure to correct deficit deficit and remove it to correct current as account surplus where yeah, we have this we have this we have discussed protectionist Mayor, now our previous content like tariff, subsidies, embargo, and so on. Now we move to the next slide. We have one past question here. A country has a current account deficit on its balance of payment, which mayor is mostly likely to reduce the deficit. We have an increase in government expenditure, a cut in the interest rate, a depreciation of the exchange rate, or a cut in the base of income tax of course it is the depreciation of exchange rate that is the measure that can be used to reduce the deficit that is the to reduce the import coming in now we move to the next slide moving to the next slide we also have one past question here a country experiencing a deficit on each of its trade in goods primary incomes and secondary income over oh, Overall, it had a surplus on the current account of its balance of payment. What must this mean? It has deficits in trading goods, that is, visible trade and invisible trade. Primary, no. Trading goods, that is, visible trade. Primary income, secondary income. Overall, it has a surplus on the current account of its balance of payment. What must this mean? It was a low income country. Is that so? Of course, no. It had a surplus on the government budget. It had a surplus on its trading services. It had a floating exchange rate. Of course, it had a surplus on its trade in services. That is invisible trade. Now we move to the next slide here. We move to the next slide. We also have the past question related to the balance of trade in good and service. But we have a lot of we have a short calculation here. The table shows the country export and import. What was the current balance of trade in goods and services? Here we have the export of goods, import of goods, that is the feasible trade, and we have the export of uh, export of services, import of services, that is the infeasible trade. Now, what was the current balance of trade in goods and services? Now let us do some. We have to do some calculation here. We have to do some calculation here. Now to calculate our balance of payment here, to calculate our balance of payment, we have our exports, 
that is which includes the visible trade and invisible trade. And we also have our import at the same time. Now for calculating our balance of payment, we have our export minus our import. And back to our back to our question, we have our export goods to be what? Export of goods. We have our export of goods to be two hundred million dollars. And we have our export of services. We have our export of services to be what? Thirty five million dollars. And here we have our exports of goods to be what? Two hundred million dollars. Two hundred million dollars plus thirty five million dollars. Here we now have what? Two hundred and we have two hundred and thirty five million dollars. Now we move to our imports. We move to our imports. Here we have the import of goods. We have the imports of goods to be worth. We have one hundred and ninety million dollars, and we also have the imports for our services. Now we have thirty-eight million dollars. Now for our for our imports here, we now have. One hundred ninety million dollars plus thirty-eight million dollars. This will give us what? Two hundred and twenty-eight million dollars. Now, for us to get our balance of payments here, we now have the balance for our exports. The balance for our exports minus the balance for our imports. And and our export is here. We have the uh, our export is here. We have the two hundred thirty five million dollars minus our imports here, which is two hundred and twenty eight million dollars. That is our export is now greater than our imports, which what with seven million. Dollars. We have seven million dollars. That leads us to what? Lead us to surplus. Lead us to surplus. That's our answer. We got seven million dollars for what? Seven million dollars surplus. Seven million dollars. So now let us go to where our answer is to pick our answer out of the option. Now, if we get back to our options here, where we have what was the country balance of trade in goods and services. Of course, we, we got our answer to be a surplus of seven million dollars. That's correct. Now, this will be the end of the class and at the same time, the end of the syllabus. Don't forget to check us out on our website, www.edubay.com for more interactive content. Thanks for listening. See you in the next subject.